I'll just add in like a quick thing in terms of how to think of probabilities, right? Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, how to calculate the probability of what is the, if I were to ask somebody right now, what is the chance that we um, head below 14,500 and head all the way till 14,450? Uh, so what is the chance? Can somebody look at it? We'll say you're not looking at the uh, Greeks and whatnot. I'm asking you a very simple question. 14,500 put is trading at 8.7 okay 14 450 put is trading at 4.4 what is the probability that we expire at right now with the current market and given all data what is the probability that the market is giving to an expiry at 14 450 very simple i'll put what is the credit that you will get if you sell the 14 um, 500 uh, uh, put and buy the 14 450 put it will be four rupees four rupees right now what is the debit essentially what will you be paying if you are buying the 14500 put and selling the 14450 put right you're creating a bare put spread and you're paying four rupees what is so what is the return going to be if you're right it's going to be um, uh, roughly let's say 46 rupees 46 rupees means your money is going to turn how many times it's going to basically uh, become 11 times so the chance of that situation happening should be naturally you think market is pricing in risk properly it should be one one in eleven if you're going to get eleven times your money provided uh, the risk reward is priced properly then there is one in eleven percent chance of that happening so you can say almost ninety two percent with ninety two percent certainty that fourteen five hundred put is going to hold by looking at how is the risk being priced now do you need a calculator to tell you that or can you get that from the pricing itself so it's it that's basically how the market works market works on probabilities right so it works on okay what is this probability of this happening similarly you look at the 14750 call and 14800 call what is the probability of that happening there also you're getting something like four points so there is um, a 92 uh, 8 percent chance of so one in 11 chance that uh, um, these calls actually end up being in the money by 50 points but in that is there in both so you have eight percent on one side eight percent on the other side and obviously as somebody who is taking on this risk you're not going to sit in the risk the whole time as the market moves as variable changes as data becomes different as uh, different factors as opinions of people change right now this is how people are pricing it that might change the next second next candle it might change but right now that's how the market is looking at it so just wanted to add that in there i think it's something that will should make sense to a lot of people want to meet like-minded traders and discuss option strategies adjustments and more just type in discuss nifty in your telegram search box and join the friendly trader community okay in the meantime just to review some of the positional trades HDFC Bank is doing good. Um, high IV down move. We made a bullish triangle. It's doing all right. Nothing to do there. Um, Indescent Bank continues to stay in our range. And uh, basically, I, at this point, premiums are still good. So you can think of this as uh, trailing stop loss. I'm trailing stop loss on this by uh, about five points. So since the premiums are good, it makes sense to just hold on to this position for now. And we'll continue to stay in range. Um, Reliance, the the different expiry strangle is also doing well. Um, the IV spike that we shorted on the down move, and uh, this is a nearer expiry call. That's also doing well. Um, TCS as well made a bullish spread. Now the call is starting to bleed, so this is starting to become a problem. Um, what I will do to this is um, wait and see. Today expiry move, IT is making some kind of big move, so I won't do anything to this right away. Now, um, we'll potentially look at taking some more put side trade on TCS if the up move on IT uh, sustains. So, yeah, I had shorted this at 69, gone to 23 now, shorted this at 34. So, clearly, in a bullish triangle, up move benefits you, but then if you hold on to it perpetually, now if we wait for this to go upwards of uh, um, 50, that's going to be a problem. But I'm anticipating that a lot of the up move on IT is expiry related. Bandhan Bank wasn't doing so well. Um, we we're down uh, uh, some. 15,000 or so on Bandan Bank. I just exited the position instead of doing any uh, adjustments. So it's a low quality company. You never know what happens. I could have adjusted this by creating an iron fly at 300, but decided against it because uh, really the premiums are not that great. And uh, I mean, it's been barely a week 
not even a week like three trading days since i took this trade and it's already doing badly now trying to fight a losing trade uh, right off the bat is i don't know it's it's arguable if there's a good opportunity good premiums you can always try that but uh, since it's down might as well take the exit so took the exit on pandan bank thank you for watching please post any questions you have in the comment section also do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to find us on twitter telegram and facebook use the username niftybn also we post some of our trades to the community tab so do not forget to check that from time to time